Uh, you know, I, I thought, you know, well, these games are hard. You know, you you got really nothing to gain. You got everything to lose as far as the, the outcome. But, you know, this is just going to be a teaching tool for us. You know, it's for us to look at film and, and evaluate and see what we can get better at and see how far we've come. But uh, we dealt with a lot of different things tonight, you know, injuries, uh, foul trouble, um, you know, just a lot of things tonight that, you, you hope don't happen in the course of a basketball game. I hope it doesn't ha happen next week. But had to have different guys step up and 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 do what we needed to do to win. And uh, this guy sitting next to me, Tariq, was was big. You know, 24 and 13, seven of them offensive rebounds. I mean, that's a big time effort. And he did a great job tonight. And other guys stepped up. And for us to win the way we did with with our you know our top guys, you know, Kajini only scoring five, and Richardson seven, Wallace nine. Uh, you know, it just speaks to the depth of our team. We've got a lot of different guys that can step in and, and help us do the things we need to do. But we've got to just continue to put a concerted effort on the defensive end of the floor. That's going to be when, we, when we're good, it's when we're guarding. When we start to put too much emphasis on trying to score the ball, then kind of both ends suffer. So uh, our defense creates our offense, and, and that's what we've got to continue to do moving forward. On your defense. 20 turnovers, you know, on the flip side, they shoot, whatever it was, 50%, you know, the high 60s for the second half there for the stretch of the second half. Yeah, no, I mean, that's, again, that's a, a thing that we, we just got to keep getting, get working on. Got to keep, um, the, the, we, we have minor mistakes, you know, falling asleep on a screen and the guy catching it close to the rim, you know, an offensive rebound kick it out, get a good look at the rim. Just, you know, little things that we need to get better at. And we're by no means anywhere close to where we need to be. Uh, we did that similar thing in the scrimmage uh, that we played. We caused 18 turnovers, but I think the other team shot 50% plus. So we, it's good that we're creating turnovers. Um, but we're also doing a good job of taking care of the ball. Um, and we didn't give them many offensive rebounds. And so those are definitely two areas that we're really really focused on we set goals for each game to have less than than 10 or 12 turnovers ourselves uh, so that's what we're going to keep doing uh, sheen's been doing really well you know I, I he's been doing well in practice uh, deandre barber's doing well you know he's a freshman so he's going to make some freshman mistakes but uh, and we've even got a third guy in Adam Weary where I put him at the point to start the second half. So we've got some flexibility at that position. And we can move guys around and get different lineups out there. Uh, it was hard tonight because I probably played more lineups that I wouldn't typically do. Uh, I don't really want the three freshmen out there together at the same time a lot. Uh, just because it's not that they're not good enough. They're good enough. They just they still need to learn both ends of the floor and what we want and how we want. But I thought the, all three of them stepped up and did some really good things for us tonight. Uh, I thought DeAndre guarded well. Austin White was tremendous on the defensive end of the floor. KJ gave us a spark on the offensive end. So they're good enough. It's just I don't really want to throw them into the fire, all three of them together at the same time, and put that pressure on them this early in the season. Can you just talk about hitting them early, using your size to get up, you know, a couple putbacks, and you know, um, I, I just do what the coaches say and just play hard and try to get every rebound. And the biggest thing that we have to work on is boxing out. So we've been boxing out a lot in practice. So I just carried it on to the floor for the game tonight. How do you guys think you can kind of use it? You guys you know, close the second half really strong. Does that seem the one you can kind of take in Hawaii for the regular season? Um, I, I think, I think it, it will be good. We just have to talk a little bit more on defense and just communicate. That's the biggest thing. And we'll be fine. What was that like for you to start after not playing a whole lot last year? Um, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't surprising. But then, then again, I was kind of nervous because I didn't want to mess up. And it was my first game to ever start. So I just played calm and just did what the coaches say and just played as hard as I could. Talk about this. Ah, oh, he's been tremendous. You know, he's been an energy guy in practice. Um, very vocal. Um, plays extremely hard, and you know, he's, he's worked extremely hard himself in both the weight room and on the floor. 
you know, good things are happening for him because of his attitude and his effort. And one of the things that, you know, he, he and I talked about was, you know, not getting down on himself, you know, because he, he puts some pressure on himself because he expects him to, he has high expectations on, on, him, on himself. And I just told him you can't worry about that, you know. Don't get down on yourself because John Brown's scoring on you in practice. <laughs> John's really, really good. So if you can hold your own against him, you can hold your own against anybody. And I think he's gained a lot of confidence from that. But he's done it all because of his attitude and the way he's approached practice. And every single day when I turn that practice film on, the one voice that I hear is his. And he's always constantly communicating with his teammates. He's always playing every single possession like it's his last. And, you know, he's made a tremendous jump from, from last year to this year. And so uh, it's nothing I did really do other than tell him to don't drop your head, you know, just stay confident uh, and just keep playing. Don't worry about the last thing that happened because guys have a tendency to, to drop their head and worry about the turnover that they just made or the missed shot that they just took. That's over with, it's done with, and you know, I think to his credit, he's done a good, really good job with that, of focusing on the next thing and, and trying to impact our team in a positive way. But he's been doing it every day in practice. That's why the results are on the stat sheet, because he's doing it every single day in practice. Hey, uh, Talk about uh, Austin White, the freshman, had a pretty good game tonight. Uh, any comments on him? Yeah, no, like I said, the three freshmen, I think, are I'm extremely pleased with them and where they're at. Uh, Austin's buried behind some really talented guards. Um, but what he brings to the floor and what he's done in practice every single day is he defends. And so, especially in the second half when I felt like I needed a, a defensive presence, somebody out there um, when we started to, to lull a little bit and they cut the lead down to, I don't know what it was, seven or eight, they got it pretty close. I feel confident in him because he goes out there and he guards. You know, he got a five-second count in the first half. He had one in the second half, but they didn't call it. And so, and offensively, he's he's talented to to score the ball in different ways. He's just got to be aggressive in attacking the basket, not settle for jump shots all the time. He can make jump shots, but he's really good at putting the ball on the ground and getting to the rim and getting fouled. So, you know, like I said, all three of them, I'm really pleased with them. I think they're going to be tremendous players for us. But Austin. Has has an ability on that defensive side of the ball that, you know, I'm I like the defense. You know, I I really put in a lot of emphasis on us being good on that end of the floor. I don't think we can win a championship uh, with giving up this field goal percentage throughout the year. Uh, that's it's going to be tough to win that way because we're not always going to cause 20 turnovers. So uh, I'm really happy with him. His attitude is is tremendous, as is Dre's and uh, KJ's. Um, we got a good group of guys. Um, we just got to be a little bit meaner and nastier, a little bit more talkative. They don't shut up when they're in the locker room, but to do that on the floor is when it really, really matters. And so sometimes we get into the flow of the game and we forget to tell each other things are happening. So, But we're getting better at it. We're improving on it. The guys know they need to do it. Uh, and, and they all have great attitudes when they come to practice every day.